In 1990, soldiers carried 5.56 NATO for speed and 7.62 NATO for power, but each had its flaws in real combat. Today, Hornady's 6mm ARC is reshaping the battlefield. Designed with military input, it delivers accuracy beyond 1,000 yards in a compact form. It bridges the gap between 5.56 and 7.62, offering soldiers a new balance of range, precision, and mobility. The 6mm ARC may have been officially released in 2020, but its story began years earlier inside the minds of soldiers and engineers. U.S. Special Operations Command had a problem. The 5.56 NATO round was light and fast, but once it stretched past 600 or 700 yards, it struggled. It did not have the energy to punch through barriers and its light bullets drifted badly in crosswinds. On the other end sat the 7.62 NATO. That cartridge could deliver the power and stability needed at long range, but it came at a price. Troops were weighed down with heavier ammo and had to deal with punishing recoil that slowed their rate of fire. Hornady set out to find the middle ground. Their starting point was the 6.5 Grendel, a cartridge already known for squeezing impressive performance out of the AR-15 platform. By necking it down to 6 millimeters, Hornady created space for long aerodynamic bullets that held velocity, cut through crosswinds, and carried accuracy past 1,000 yards. The new round could fit into standard AR-15 magazines, remain safe under military pressure limits, and fire 100 to 110 grain bullets that stayed supersonic far beyond what 5.56 could ever manage. In June 2020, Hornady announced the 6mm ARC to the public, revealing that it had already been tested with Department of Defense units. Unlike many cartridges that begin in hunting fields or at civilian ranges, this one was born on the battlefield. That origin is what has given it immediate credibility. The 6mm AERC is built on the foundation of the 6.5 Grendel, trimmed slightly shorter to make room for long, streamlined 6mm bullets. Its case measures 1.49 inches with a 30-degree shoulder, and the overall cartridge length sits at 2.26 inches. That is the same length as 5.56 NATO, which means it can be used with standard AR-15 magazines. This compatibility was a key requirement from the start giving the round a smooth entry into existing platforms without major redesigns. In terms of pressure, the cartridge operates at around 52,000 pounds per square inch. That is lower than experimental high-pressure rounds, like the new 6.8x51 NATO, which can push well over 60,000 PSI. The advantage of staying modest is longer barrel life and reduced wear on the rifle's bolt and chamber. Soldiers and shooters alike get strong performance without punishing their weapons over time. Ballistics is where the ARC truly stands out. With Hornady's 108-grain ELD match bullet, a 24-inch test barrel can send rounds at about 2,750 feet per second. Even shorter 16-inch carbines can produce velocities near 2,500 feet per second. Because these bullets have ballistic coefficients above 0.530, they resist drag and wind drift better than most comparable rounds. The result is flatter flight paths, tighter groups, and consistent accuracy at extended ranges. What makes the cartridge special is its energy retention. At 500 yards, a 6mm ARC bullet often hits with around 1,000 foot-pounds of energy. 
That is nearly double the punch of 5.56 NATO at the same range. Even at 1,000 yards, it still carries about 500 foot-pounds of energy, enough to remain effective against soft targets far beyond the reach of standard 5.56. Rifles chambered in ARC usually feature barrels between 16 and 22 inches, with twist rates of 1 in 7.5 or 1 in 8.8 to stabilize the long bullets. While it works well in shorter rifles, the cartridge shows its full potential with barrels of 20 inches or more, where velocity and accuracy reach their peak. To appreciate what makes the RC unique, it helps to place it alongside other service cartridges. The 5.56 NATO, adopted in the 1960s, became the standard for its low recoil and high capacity. Soldiers could carry 730-round magazines with relative ease, ensuring volume of fire in jungle and urban combat. Yet at longer ranges, its limitations became apparent. Past 500 meters, accuracy and terminal effect fall sharply. Against modern body armor, its effectiveness drops even sooner. The 7.62 NATO addressed those issues with raw mass. It fires bullets from 147 to 175 grains, delivering excellent energy and penetration at distance. It remains supersonic to around 1,200 yards and is devastating in the right hands. But rifles chambered in 7.62 weigh more. Recoil is stronger and soldiers typically carry fewer than half as many rounds compared to 5.56. This is why it has stayed in specialist roles such as machine guns, sniper rifles, and designated marksman rifles, rather than becoming a standard infantry round. The ARC offers a compromise. Its 103 to 108 grain bullets fly flatter than 7.62 and hit harder than 5.56 at range, while weighing less than full power rifle cartridges. In a standard magazine, capacity drops to around 24 to 26 rounds. A combat load is usually about 140 to 150 rounds compared to 210 rounds for 5.56 or barely 100 rounds for 7.62. For troops in open terrain or mountainous regions, the ARC provides a middle path, more reach than 5.56 without the punishing logistics of 7.62. Historically, militaries have sought similar middle ground calibers the British developed the .280 cartridge after World War II, which offered performance close to what the ARC achieves today. NATO rejected it in favor of 7.62 and later standardized 5.56, leaving the concept dormant for decades. The 6mm ARC shows that the idea of a true intermediate cartridge has not disappeared. It has simply matured with modern ballistics. One of the strongest advantages of the 6mm ARC is that it works in the AR-15 platform. The Army's new M7 rifle and 6.8x51 cartridge demand fresh supply chains, training, and entirely new weapons. The ARC does not. With minor swaps to the barrel, bolt, and magazines, existing rifles can chamber it. This appeals to both the military, which values logistics, and civilians, who can upgrade without leaving the AR-15 behind. Rifle makers such as Barrett, Wilson Combat, and CMMG already offer models chambered in ARC, and the list continues to grow. On the military side, Tests have been carried out with short carbines, longer designated marksman rifles, and even belt-fed concepts. The fact that the cartridge can shift easily across rolls makes it versatile. 
The unit can field one round for multiple weapon types without the usual trade-offs in weight, recoil, or reach. Modern optics only add to its effectiveness. Variable power scopes, laser rangefinders, and ballistic calculators transform the ARC into part of a precision system. A standard infantryman equipped with this round and a smart optic can hit targets once reserved for trained snipers. That mix of flexibility, range, and portability is why the ARC continues to draw attention. The 6mm ARC brings a mix of qualities that are hard to ignore. It delivers accuracy at long distances, keeps recoil manageable, and carries more energy downrange than 5.56 NATO ever could. In practice, it stretches the reach of carbines to 1,000 yards, while remaining light enough for quick handling. For soldiers, that means greater precision, higher hit probability, and far less burden than carrying a 7.62 rifle. Still, the cartridge is not without trade-offs. Each round is larger than 5.56, so soldiers can carry fewer in the same space, and magazines hold less. Being relatively new, its production scale is limited, which raises costs and makes logistics more complex. There are also concerns about long-term wear on AR-15 bolts, since the ARC runs hotter than 5.56, though stronger components can help offset this. For Special Operations Command, the advantages outweigh the drawbacks. Operators carry tailored loads, operate on shorter missions, and prize performance over cost. But for large infantry formations spread across continents, the equation shifts. Armies need ammunition that is cheap, easy to supply, and available in vast numbers. Until those hurdles are overcome, the ARC's role will likely remain focused on specialized missions. Reports from early military evaluations suggest that soldiers shooting the ARC quickly recognized its advantages. Hitting steel at 800 or 1,000 yards became routine with the right optics, even for average marksmen. Crosswind performance, long a weakness of 5.56, improved dramatically. The round's recoil allowed rapid follow-up shots something 7.62 rifles struggle with. On the civilian side, the ARC has been embraced by precision rifle competitors and hunters. In precision rifle series matches, shooters value its flat trajectory and low recoil for fast engagements across multiple distances. Hunters appreciate its accuracy and energy on medium-sized game like deer or antelope. Civilian use also ensures a healthy supply of commercial loads, from Hornady's 103 grain hunting rounds to 108 grain match loads. This dual military and civilian support gives the ARC an advantage over past experimental cartridges that never left prototype stages. It is being used, refined, and proven in real conditions. The ARC is not a replacement for every rifle caliber in service. The 5.56 NATO will remain dominant for general infantry because of its lightweight and established infrastructure. The 7.62 NATO will continue to serve in machine guns and specialized sniper roles. The ARC instead fills a middle ground, one where precision, range, and manageable recoil intersect. In future conflicts, where drones, sensors, and advanced body armor shape engagements, the ARC provides overmatch at distances that once required sniper rifles. It allows small teams to fight effectively in open terrain, mountainous regions, or urban battlefields where lines of sight are unpredictable. Whether or not NATO adopts it broadly, the ARC represents a step toward more efficient and capable infantry weapons. The 6mm ARC is not just another test round. It was built to solve a real battlefield problem. 
by pairing sleek, high ballistic coefficient bullets with the AR-15 platform. It delivers what militaries have long wanted, a true intermediate cartridge, staying supersonic past 1,000 yards while remaining easy to control. It is already proving itself in trials and competition alike. Whether it becomes standard issue or stays specialized, the ARC shows that the balance between range, power, and practicality is closer than ever. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into the weapons shaping the future.